Number three is that he, we, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi then uh, was blessed with uh, a knowledge that is superior, not that is inferior, and which is the third characteristic required for leadership, that your knowledge has to be superior. And uh, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala gave him this ni'mah of Isra and Miraj, so that we may show him our signs of creation. So Allah showed him the signs in the earth. Allah showed him the signs in the heavens. Allah showed him Jannah and Jahannam. Allah showed him all the signs of Qadr and the pen and the tablet. And he showed him all the signs of the tree and all of that. And then Allah now endowed the Prophet Sassan with superior knowledge of what happens in time and what happens after time, which no other person on the planet can claim. No scientist can tell you what happens to you in your grave. Uh, but the Prophet has some knowledge was so superior to every other human being's knowledge, which is a prerequisite for leadership. You must have knowledge of what the Prophet had knowledge of, therefore, you must not just only read the Quran, you must also read Hadith. You must read the Seerah. And with the Seerah, you must be able to understand the Sunnah with the Seerah. So you need knowledge. And you can't go there like an idiot and say, I know Islam because I love Islam and I have the ability to express Islam. And then you go and make yourself a fool in front of hundreds of people. And they say, everybody tackles you and corners you. You don't know anything about Islam. You're not supposed to be representing Islam. As a jahil, as someone who doesn't know anything about Islam, you must be prepared. Preparation is required in order to do any kind of work for the ummah.